Welcome to the second edition of the Apex Plastics 101 Series Blow Molding. Here at Apex Plastics, we manufacture high-quality blow-molded plastic products. In this edition, we're going to take a look at the principles of injection blow molding. The injection blow molding process typically uses a specific material called polyethylene trephthalate, or PET. This is used to create crystal clear bottles and containers. In the first phase of the injection blow molding process, the plastic resin is heated and melted as it is moved down the barrel by a screw to be injected to make the preform. Once liquefied, the material is injected into the mold. The preform will then become the final shape later in the process. The injection blow molding machine moves the preform to the blow mold. This is a quick process as the preform must be molded while it still has the correct heat distribution. Compressed air is then blown into the preform, which expands to the cavity walls. This gives the product its final shape. Once the part is molded, it needs to be cooled. The cooling process is vitally important to the properties and quality of the product. The hot plastic is cooled rapidly against the walls of the mold, which is temperature controlled by chilled water flowing through multiple cooling zones. After a predetermined amount of time, the blown air stops, the mold opens, and the part is released. The part is either dropped directly onto a conveyor when the mold opens, or is temporarily held on the blow pins until a robot picks it up and moves it to a conveyor. We hope this helped to shed some light on the injection blow molding process. To learn more about Apex Plastics and our capabilities, be sure to visit us at apexplastics.com.